humanity i love you all with all my heart with all my might my videos are about love about creation about energy about infinity because we're infinite energy we're infinite creation we're infinite love this is who we are why because of our heartbeat the human heartbeat is the pulse of life is the pulse of creation without the human heartbeat we wouldn't exist we wouldn't be alive without the without the heartbeat so the human heartbeat generates an electromagnetic field force field of resonance that powers the human body the brain so we can think be aware self-conscious conscious and self-aware our organs, organs function as a result and then we can love with our hearts and we can be here so we are a benevolent species it's in our instincts you see the heartbeat the biological creator is telling us i'm giving you life so you love because we love with our hearts which is the same place that gives us life with the heartbeat so our instinct is to live and our instinct is to love so we live to love we live to love this is who we are so i like to be facing the sunlight because we're sundials you see i build a bridge every day i open the portal every day so I like to have these connections. So you see that sometimes I'm not in the middle of the feet because I want to have the light coming through my eyes and powering me, giving me more energy, energizing me, stimulating me so I can be here with you and talk about my purpose with you and share the message with the world because I love you with all my heart and with all my might because this is who I am. I love you because it's our nature to love. And then, of course, today's video is about uh, the uh, is vicious cycle. I'm going to talk about a vicious cycle. It's the negativity bias. We all have this bias if we don't address it. And it's called the vicious cycle, the negativity bias. So if you want to refer to the image, you can go to the website on y.how slash vicious hyphen cycle hyphen negativity hyphen bias. So that is y.how slash vicious hyphen cycle hyphen negativity hyphen bias so you can understand what this is it's on Substack and on YouTube as well you know as my my book is a visual book it's all about images so the it's easier for the eye to learn and understand and then I explain also with these videos what this my, my writing is about and what I go about so okay so remember who we are, we're eternal sundials, we stare at the sun, we open our hearts, we build the bridge, our electromagnetic field of the heart connects with the electromagnetic field of the sun and the electromagnetic field of the brain and then we get all this powerful energy through our eyes so we can have beautiful lives. We, we, this is what we're supposed to do, we live to love and we love to live. Remember we make love so we have children and our children, we love them. So we raise them and it's the same biologically speaking with everything else. We love our creations, all of our creations. And we've been building for thousands of years. This is what we do. We builders, we create, we makers, we're creators. This is our nature, we're producers. This is what we do. This is the very nature of who we are. And, and we love with our heart. So our, the energy of the field of creation, the electromagnetic field, the heartbeat, the resonance comes from the heart and we love with our hearts so that means that we're energy and we love with our hearts because love is the energy of creation biologically speaking we can measure it with tools and equipment so we love with our hearts you see energy that comes from the heart is love energy this love energy is powerful this heart energy creates remember who we are we're compasses so we shatter illusions and we render fantasies obsolete all these negativity that i'm going to talk about right now this vicious cycle how we shatter it with our free will with our action you see we're energy we're electrical beings we're spherical light beings because of our electromagnetic field which is spherical just like the suns and the earths our eyes are spherical our brains are spherical our heart is spherical so we can connect with the source open open the portal build the bridge and all these beautiful things happen as a result so as compasses we shatter illusions and render them obsolete this is what we do and this is what a vicious cycle is all these fantasies all these illusions so the sun went away so i'm just gonna talk now so 
just let's let's dive in remember we're compasses we're sandals we sink with the sun this is what we do we follow the sun the creator but at the same time we're also compasses uh, so let's talk about it so this vicious cycle uh, negativity bias and what it is I always start my videos by talking about the heart by talking about life by talking about love but by talking about who we are, compasses and sandals, because this is extremely fundamental to understand that our nature is benevolent. We are a benevolent species. This is who we are. We heart a heartful species. We're creators. We create with our hearts. We create with our love. And I love you all, humanity. You see, I love you all because I know what our nature is. So let's dive in. Vicious cycle, negativity bias. So, you know, it all starts with a traumatic event in the past. Here and now, sometimes you have the events bothering you. But because we're in the here and now right now, you know, we, our danger and true self is clear. We're here and now. We take daily action, purposeful daily action. That means that right now, our electromagnetic field of creation, our life spherical being, who we are, our compass, our sandal, is not experiencing a traumatic event because we're in the moment. We're here and now. We're creating with a love. So, it always comes from previous events from the past. It's always from the past, from these memories, these things that happened to us, our history, our story, our life. So, it's, we call it a traumatic event. And this is, comes in many ways, shapes, and forms. But the way that works is this, this traumatic event tem turns into a negative emotion. You see, the word says it itself, negative emotion. So, it has a negative charge to it. It's a negative thought. It's a negative load of energy, of emotion attached to it. And this is fear, pain, suffering, inaction, and all these different things that are negative, that are not good. It's this static in the back of our minds. You know, it's this, it's, it's this low vibration, this destructive vibration, this noise, background noise, this friction that's there, just holding us back. And, and because of this negative emotion in the unconscious mind, you see repressed emotions, suppressed emotions, unresolved issues, unaddressed problems, all these different things because of these traumatic events in the past, the sun came back. So here we are with the sun. Love you with all my heart and with all my mind. Thank you for giving me life and allowing me to be here today. So, so all this negativity, all this stuff, this shadow, uh creates distortions in our mind it's called distorted perception so our perception gets distorted remember we experience reality through our eyes and in a big way we're visual so we memorize our visions and our our our, our memories are we relive them and the event plays again and this is what a fantasy and illusion is this is what a fantasy and an illusion is hey so because the event happened it's not real anymore it took place in the past but we relieve the memory, we recall, and when this recall happens, then what happens? We relieve the memory and the pain, the negative emotion attached to it. And it's a fantasy, it's an illusion because it distorts reality. It's not real, it's not there anymore, but that illusion is there and it makes us feel emotions and it holds us back and we live of it. And because of the negative emotion and the event and the trauma, our perception gets distorted and we take this illusion as granted and then it renders fantasies and we live the fantasies day to day. We think with that person, we think with that event, we can move on. And that leads to this distorted perception creates this, uh, this static, this friction, this negativity, creates this noise, creates these self-imposed limits. Self-imposed limits. It limits us because of the fear, because of the pain, because of the suffering. You know, it, it can't allow us to move on because we're stuck there. We're stuck. And what's that? Inaction. See, self-imposed limits lead to inaction. Not taking action because of excuses, because of any reasons. So this is a vicious cycle. So you see, it starts with traumatic events, then does create negative emotions, distorted reality, perception, reality, fantasies, illusions happening, leading to self-imposed limits. This is the fantasy. You see, it creates this self-imposed limit. And that leads to inaction. So you see, these fantasies, these illusions are a problem. So how do we address this? How do we break the cycle? How do we disintegrate this vicious cycle, the shadow, this unconscious mind, this negativity bias? 
Well, we do that through action, self-love, hey. It's the opposite of it, self-love. And, and uh, let's talk about it, how it starts. Remember, we're sundials. So when we open the portal and we stare at the sun and we open our hearts, we build the bridge. So the electromagnetic field of a heart resonates and gets in sync with the electromagnetic field of the sun and the electromagnetic field of the earth and the electromagnetic field of our brain. So what does that do? So we get the energy, so when we can relieve those memories, the events, the trauma, and our we have, with our heart, we now have the power, the energy, the courage to face those events and transmute them. So we deload them with the charge and we take the negativity out of the emotion. So there's no negative emotion in that memory anymore. It just becomes a loving memory because it's, we are grateful, we heal, we recover. We accept it, we we just love it. We put our love into that emotion, into that event, and we understand and we move on, we heal. So we cure ourselves in that way. So the trauma is not affecting us anymore, it's healing us. So so that's what we do with our minds. So it's the sinking of the mind and the heart with the sun and the eye. And that is the bridge. So we build the bridge, and the bridge allows us to give us the power to be brave and courageous. So we face those emotions. And when we face the emotions, what happens as a result? Well, the negativity goes away and then we disintegrate the shadow. The unconscious becomes conscious. The repression is not repressed anymore. We're released. The suppression is there anymore. It's been released. It's been discharged. You see, it's not there anymore. That thing goes away. It's dispelled. It's dissipated. It doesn't have, it's shattered, the fantasy, the illusion gets shattered, the per distorted perception is not perception, it's no distortion anymore, it's not a fantasy, it's not an illusion, because we have destroyed it, we have disintegrated with love, because the event is just there to teach us a lesson, our identity, our true self, our boundaries, our dimensions, it tells us who we are, so we can move on and create with our hearts, and our love, and our minds, on our imagination and our visions of our true self and future dream states that we make happen they come to terms and reality we make our dreams come true with our action daily daily purposeful action here and now because we're compasses you see it's all connected so when we shatter this distortion disintegrate the shadow and the unconscious is not holding us back anymore then the self-imposed limits are dissolved they're not there anymore and then the inaction is removed so we take action with our love with here and now so you see it's a beautiful process and this is how we deal with the vicious cycle through the sundial the sun iris nexus the connection the human practice we stare at the sun we open our heart we open the portal we build the bridge the heart the mind the eye with the sun as one the, re re the resonance of a heart, the electromagnetic field, with the resonance of the brain and its electromagnetic field, through the eye, we get that energy from the sun and we sync with the electromagnetic field of the sun. We gave us life in the first place. So we're light spherical beings. So we get the energy, our brains get supercharged, our hearts get supercharged, so we can address the issues. And this vicious cycle gets broken and it becomes a virtuous cycle is the opposite which i'm going to talk about the virtuous cycle in a minute but remember who we are we're infinite creators we're infinite love we're infinite energy we're sandals we're compass humanity i love you all with all my heart with all my might remember who we are we're the defenders of the republic of planet earth we're the leaders of the republic of planet earth we're the citizens of the republic of planet earth we're the citizenry this is who we are we're infinite eternal creators I love you all with all my heart, with all my might. I'm going to make another video very shortly about another cycle.